The 2024 MotoGP season has been nothing short of thrilling, and as it approaches its final showdown in Barcelona, two riders are vying for the ultimate prize, Jorge Martin and Peco. With Martin leading by 24 points, the tension and anticipation are palpable. This season has not only been a battle of skill and endurance on the track, but also a mental chess game, a testament to the intricate dynamics of MotoGP, where team strategies, mental preparation, and high-stakes decisions play critical roles. For Jorge Martin and his team at Promac Racing, the season represents an extraordinary journey. Promac, an independent team, stands on the cusp of MotoGP history as Martin inches closer to potentially becoming the first independent rider to win a championship in the modern era. But this achievement has not come easily. Promac team boss Gino Borsoi has been instrumental in guiding Martin, going so far as to work with a mental coach to prepare himself for the intense pressures of a title chase. In Borsoi's own words, managing a title battle is not an easy task, and the role of mental resilience has been pivotal. Borsoi's focus on mental preparation has helped him to support Martin through the highs and lows, teaching him to keep calm and just go ahead, especially during those crucial, pressure-filled moments. This psychological foundation has proven invaluable in helping Martin maintain his composure under the weight of expectations. Martin, too, has engaged in rigorous mental conditioning, understanding that a title chase demands not just physical skill, but also unshakable mental fortitude. This emphasis on mental training reflects the seriousness with which Martin and his team are approaching this season, as well as the high stakes surrounding Martin's future. Ducati's decision earlier this season to prioritize Marc Marquez for a factory seat in 2025 left Martin feeling sidelined. This choice led him to sign with Aprilia for the coming seasons, effectively putting a deadline on his title hopes with Ducati's cutting-edge machinery. In the words of TNT sport analyst Michael Laverty, in the near future until the 2027 reg change comes, this is Ducati's era. Martin is off to Aprilia, and it might be a tough time. Laverty's words underscore a widely shared view in the MotoGP paddock. Ducati's current advantage in terms of performance and reliability may be difficult to replicate elsewhere, making this year a unique opportunity for Martin. The weight of this transition adds an extra layer of urgency to Martin's title ambitions. As he heads to the final round in Barcelona, the realization that this may be his last opportunity to claim a MotoGP title is pressing. The stakes couldn't be higher, but Martin's response to this pressure has been nothing short of inspiring. His focused determination has translated into some of the most electrifying races of the season, none more memorable than his recent duel with Peko in the Malaysian Grand Prix. In what can only be described as a battle for the ages, Martin and Peko swapped the lead 13 times within the first three laps. The intense back and forth showcased the prowess of each rider and provided fans with a raw display of what MotoGP is truly about. Skill, bravery, and relentless pursuit of victory. For Borsoi, watching this battle unfold was an emotional roller coaster, the tension nearly unbearable. You can easily lose 10 years watching a race like that, he joked. But the sheer excitement wasn't limited to the Pramac team alone. Ducati's general manager Gigi admitted that he couldn't watch the TV during those opening laps. Such was the intensity of the fight. The visceral response from team leaders like Borsoi and Gigi highlights just how deeply invested they are in their riders' performances and how MotoGP isn't merely a sport of physical endurance, but one that tests the mental limits of everyone involved. Moreover, this season's battle has reignited interest in MotoGP's overtaking dynamics, silencing critics who have argued that the sport has become overly predictable. As Ducati team manager Davide Tardozzi put it, the race was the right answer for who think now it's impossible to overtake in MotoGP. Tardozzi's remarks were a celebration of the sport's unpredictable nature, emphasizing that while advancements in bike technology play a role, it is ultimately the courage and skill of riders like Martin and Peko that define the outcome. He praised both riders, stating, whoever wins the championship will deserve it, a recognition that in such a close contest, both men have proven themselves as champions in their own right. If Martin clinches the title, it would also bring significant prestige to Promac as an independent team.
challenging the historical dominance of factory teams in MotoGP. Winning the title would solidify Paramac's place in MotoGP's history books and mark a victory for the underdogs. However, there is an added layer of complexity to this potential outcome. Should Martin win, he would carry the number one plate with him to Aprilia next year, leaving Ducati without its champion. Yet Ducati's team manager, Tardozzi, has remained unconcerned, saying, It's obvious that if Jorge will win the title, he will probably run number one but in the big book of results will be written Jorge Martin, Ducati. For Ducati, Martin's win would still be a triumph for the brand, underscoring the strength of their program, even if Martin's journey with them ends. The sense of pride Ducati feels in Martin's journey is rooted in their decision to bring him up from Moto2 in 2021. Tardozzi expressed satisfaction in this move, acknowledging that if Martin does secure the title, it will be a testament to Ducati's talent scouting abilities. In the end, we did a good job anyway choosing him from Moto2 to MotoGP, he remarked. For Ducati, regardless of the ultimate outcome, Martin's rise is a validation of their developmental program and an enduring part of their legacy. As the final race looms, Martin's focus is unwavering. He is acutely aware that he came close to winning the MotoGP title in the final round last season, only to see it slip away. This time, with a 24-point lead, he is determined to seize his moment. Yet the possibility of a surprise remains, especially given Pecco's tenacity. Pecco's consistency and resilience make him a formidable challenger, and his status as reigning champion adds to the intrigue of this title fight. With the championship hanging in the balance, Barcelona will see both riders give it their all, pushing their bikes and themselves to the limit. The narrative of this season, with its twists, turns, and emotional highs, reflects the very essence of MotoGP. The sport is as much a test of mental endurance as it is of physical skill. Riders like Martin and Pecco represent the pinnacle of this discipline, each embodying the qualities of a champion. The battle between them has reinvigorated MotoGP's fan base, offering a glimpse into the grit and determination required to succeed at the highest level. In Barcelona, Fans will witness the culmination of a season filled with suspense, skill, and storylines that have captivated the world. Whatever the outcome, Martin and Pecco have left an indelible mark on MotoGP. For Martin, this season represents both an end and a beginning, a chance to make history with Pramac and Ducati before embarking on a new chapter with Aprilia. Should he win, his journey with Ducati will end on a high note, forever etching his name in the sport's records. As the curtain prepares to fall on 2024, MotoGP fans around the world are bracing for a finale that promises to deliver unforgettable moments and a decisive end to one of the sport's most riveting seasons. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.